Oh, good afternoon. I am live. I've got sound and, ah, amazing to be here. Welcome. Welcome if you're on the replay. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate that. I, I'm glad that you're part of this, part of this journey and this lovely community. Special hi to Caroline and to Katie after your long shifts nursing and helping everybody. Beth, your first candy. Hi, Beth. Welcome, Candy. How lovely. Look at me running early and I've got sound and it's just, ah, oh, too exciting, too exciting. Ah, oh, Beth, Beth's the winner. <laughs> no. Oh, so nice to see you. It's funny, isn't it? We're in, it's Candy and I, we're in so many streams together, aren't we? <laughs> oh, it's nice. Nice to be, nice to be here. It's a nice way to start the morning. Good morning to all my friends overseas, over the oceans. I'm making, oh, the camera's in a new place today. Something else to get used to. I'm, um, I'm making my ATCs, my fabric ATCs. Oh. Beth, yes, are you up late? Oh, hello. Hello, Nashua. All the way from Egypt. Oh, welcome, welcome. I've been sewing, Nashua, and so enjoying it. It's just nothing, nothing fancy. I literally just sew bits on and then just enjoy lots of bits and pieces and I, I I I do I enjoy sewing and randomly sewing good morning good morning girl you just sat down at your pc oh you got a notification oh gail welcome and you are yes you're busy and i like that and i like the fact that you're here and we can keep you company We'll keep you company through this Monday morning, Gail. Yes. Oh, okay, Beth. You slept. I've got to get used to the camera. You slept till 3 a.m., back to sleep till 6, till 8, and then up for Nora. But that's getting better. You've slept on and off, but it's getting better, isn't it, Beth? You'll get there. You'll get there. You've had a tough old year and your body's getting used to it oh, you can nap after janet or you can nap during janet i'm here to katie will be watching this after a long shift and she will be gently going off to sleep it'll take her four or five times to watch it won't it katie <laughs> Oh, now, Katie, let me explain what these are. These are ATCs, but they're ATC coins. So they're the same size as an ATC. But since holiday, I've been making things in fabric. It's just a little phase I'm going through. I, do you know, a mix of fabric and paper is lovely. It's just this little phase that Laura... Jersey Crafter and I are going through. <laughs> oh, yes. Sit right back and enjoy. Yes. Good morning, Kristen. How are you? Oh, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm making ATCs for the Queen Swap. Let me show you. This is in Beth Shuler's group. I, I, I've got to get used to where the camera is. There's one, some little buttons and threads. It's not fancy sewing, so, and beads, little leaf beads. Yeah, and buttons, and it's felt at the back. Oh, I'm glad, Kristen. Good, welcome. Oh, Crafty Kitty, that's Joy. Welcome. Oh, Crafty Kitty, 
I'm going to have to make one of these just for you. Because it says, this one, there wasn't room for the words on the front. There's no rules. You don't have to have words on the front. I've got joy. Look at that. I'm going to make an extra one and send it to Crafty Kitty. Because your joy. I've got one for Melanie too. Now, the theme is autumn. So they're quite themey for autumn. They've got some autumn colour on them and little bronze leaf there. That's focusing better, isn't it, on the darker one? Yeah, and that says love there. Let me turn it up. Maybe the right way for you. It's hard for you to read words, isn't it? It says love in the little letters, but in fact, I'd lost too many of them to write out. So I've got another one that says joy. I like that word. And I think Melanie likes that word too, because that's her name, Mel Joy. There we are. I'll get used to the way the new camera is. There we are. And that says joy on it too. So yes, that's what I've been doing. And I've got another one over here. I'll show you quickly. But that one's Beth's. Don't look Beth. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to get these posted out tomorrow. Because they need to be with Beth. So they're two and a half inches. Normally they're made out of cardboard. So go ahead and make yours out of cardboard. Anything. Um, they need to be with Beth by the beginning of first week in October. <laughs> so I'm nearly running out of thread. So I'm going to finish that one later and get those popped in an envelope. Oh, yes, they're like pretty flowers, aren't they? Which flower did you were you saying was um, pretty candy? Is it this material? It's rather nice, isn't it? Rather nice material, and I cut it out. I'll show you. Oh, here it is. This material here. It's nice. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, that one. Yeah, candy. It's lovely, isn't it? So it's nice for cutting out. And hmm. Well, I love it. <laughs> oh, so nice to see everybody. Um, so what what else has been inspiring me this week? Well, I went on Deb Ferrell's video. She's a member of your, your group, isn't she, Bear? And she was making paper edges. And, of course, at the moment, I've just got this little thing about material. So I made mine. This is inspired by Deb. She made her with paper do go over and see hers because she put layers of paper and then a dark paper and then like a little cluster. It could be argued that this is a bit thick for the side of a page. But um, I don't mind because my, my books are always fluffy. Kimberly, good morning. Freddie, where are you? Oh, he was in here. Oh, Kimberly. He's... He, He's just left the room. <laughs> he's been in the river today. He's had a wonderful time and he's exhausted. Sometimes when he's really tired, he just goes and goes on to the settee. He thinks, you know, I just need pure comfort. <laughs> you posted for me. Thank you, Beth. That's kind of you. <laughs> oh, I was just saying, Kimberly, these are inspired by Deb Ferrell. Who do, he, she, she might be coming later or might be watching the replay. Um, very inspiring. She made edges out of paper and I've been making some out of fabric <laughs> to stick on the edge of a page. Let's, let's stick one on the edge of a page. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. Thank you. Let's get my very fluffy girls just want to have fun book out and stick this lovely edge on. See, I don't mind a fluffy look. Let's get you in the picture there. 
Now, will I have to lean over you? No. Let's get the fabric tack ready. So let's rehearse where we want this to be. On there. Oh, it's nice on there. Oh, good morning, Violet. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, Violet's getting ready for work. Oh, Violet, you, you, yes. You're usually working, aren't you? And you work till late. I'm presuming you do shift work, Violet. Yeah, I know you're very busy. Welcome. And we're here to keep you company while you get ready for work and while you, um, while you work. Work. Yes, these are, Violet, they're inspired by Deb Ferrell. If you pop over to Deb Ferrell's channel, she did a gorgeous video on paper, paper edges, strips of paper and then like a little cluster. But of course, at the moment, I'm doing everything in fabric. It, it, right, Beth. Win and net. So, Dick Ferrell's hers are called Edges, and <laughs> the book's really fluffy, isn't it, Violet? Oh, Candy, um, Freddie's just entered the room. Um, Kimberly says hi, Freddie. Yeah. Oh, he's been he's been in the river today, or as you girls like to call it, the creek. <laughs> it's not a very deep river, but he loves it. Right, let me see if I can squeeze some fabric tack out. Oh, look, it's working. Ooh, fancy. Fabric tack was a really good discovering. Really works. I find it works. It's just so um, tricky to get out of the the jar oh Beth have you seen Laura's video I posted it to your group and she's opening her I'll pop it on. I, want, I want to pop it on here just because I can there we are she was opening her tags gorgeous tags everyone have a look at the video I think it's called opening mail Number one, I think it's from Saturday or Sunday. There we are. Got a minute. Got another edge. Make the book even more fluffy. And there's like a little card from somebody in there. <laughs> Good morning, Anne. How lovely. Lovely to have you along with us. Kay, good morning. Oh, Anne, I just loved your, your cat. I, have you posted your finished collage? Because, oh, absolutely loved it. The background. Was the background made of magazines as well? Or was that just the cat that was magazines? Absolutely loved the cat. Absolutely loved the background. Let me move all this around and let's get, let's, shall we make one of these? We're calling them, just as a little starter, oh, Melanie, hi. <laughs> just as a little starter, we're going to call them, what are we going to call them, Beth? Uh, what, let me see. For cluster strips, what are we going to call them? Cluster, cluster borders, what are we going to call them? You did name them, didn't you, Beth? So, at the moment... I have a little obsession with doing everything in fabric. <laughs> Nip over to Deb Ferrell's video to see the gorgeous, much more practical, because they're not as lumpy, paper edges. Cluster strips. Thank you. Thank you. Beth has named them. Absolutely perfect. Lovely. Let's, let's, just, let's just make one. And Anne, I'm going to be very brave. It's, a, it's like a snippet. Yes, it's like a little mini snippet roll, isn't it? Mm. I'm going to be very brave later, Anne, and I'm going to do some, I'm going to do jelly print printing live. I've, I've never done that before, but I've been so inspired by everybody using their jelly plate. 
Here we are. If you want to see Anne's cat, Anne did a, a lovely va live with Shelley from Crafting Mamas. You're very welcome to pop links in. But Beth, if you're wanting to relax, just, just relax. <laughs> there we are. Just a little strip. Let's not put too much thought into it. And Anne did a lovely stream with Shelley, didn't you? Really love them. And you showed your magazine collage cat then. This is some lovely silk from the lining of a skirt. Couldn't wear it anymore, so why not? Do you know, I didn't... The, the washing care was just a little bit too much for me. I'm ripping it and you can see pinky greeny, absolutely gorgeous. Cluster strips just for the edge. You can make it longer. I think if you watch Deb's video, Deb Ferrer, she was explaining that she does her... Her cluster strips in matching colours. She does them all at the same time to get a theme running through her journals. So there's an idea. She's full of ideas, so I suggest going to watch the video. Look at this. Crafty and happy. Isn't that lovely? That was from Laura. I'm just going to place that there so we can see it. I can see somebody saying hello to Mary Lou. Hi, Mary Lou. Did I miss you? <laughs> oh, hello, Christina. Welcome. Welcome. How lovely. There's a link to Anne's channel. How lovely. Oh, Beth, that's very kind of you. But if you if you do want to relax, don't feel don't feel a pressure. Now I've got this is from the same skirt. Gorgeous and gold, but I think it is probably a bit thick. People might say a little bit thick. So let's try something else. Um, I like this. This is vintage fabric, probably from someone in Meljoy's family. Meljoy's got quite the collection of fabric, haven't you? I'll put one more strip down, maybe. Let's just tear this. I'm just going to go for it. How are you today, Christina? And oh, that's not ripping. Okay, doesn't want to rip. That's okay, let's just cut it. If you've just come in, we're making cluster strips for the edges of our books. Oh, there you go. Oh, you've got to be strong to be a crafter. Oh, you love gingham. Oh, well, I'm glad I'm putting it on. I did I did wonder, this was from an old duvet, obviously. You know, I washed it. <laughs> she says, <laughs> I did. There we are. So lovely to be here. It really is. It really is. And there we are. Now, what, can, what else can I find to go on here? Now... I'm just having a little look through. Oh, a little bit bulky, but just gorgeous. Oh, what do you think? Should I go for bulk or should I try and keep keep it? Uh, I'll leave it there for you to decide. Because that's got gorgeous beads. and That was from Mel Joy when she made me her fabric. Fabric flow. Some more gingham for Mary Lou. Miss Cluster's here too. Video tomorrow. Oh, fantastic. Mrs. Gigi's working on clusters. Oh, I'm here to keep you company while you work on yours. And we will all head over. Let's head over tomorrow and or later and watch um, 
Mrs. Gigi's videos. I've been enjoying your videos, catching up on them all, Mrs. Gigi. So, yes, there's people in the background getting bre breakfast for their family and working, homeschooling, just relaxing. And some people are crafting. I think it's lovely. Right, let's sort through here. What should we put on? Here's my little handy dandy bits and pieces. We've got some sequins and I sewed sequins and beads. Hard to see, isn't that for you? Yeah, sequins and beads and lovely. Let's put some buttons. Oh, Anne's posted it on her her Instagram. Could you pop in your Instagram name so I can find you, but maybe other people can't find you? Lovely. Lovely, lovely to see it finished, yeah. I'm still in the middle of my... I'll, I'll, I'll show you while you're here, just in case you have to go later. Still in the middle of my toucan. They take, they take rather a long time because I, I just like to relax. Here he is. So this week I've been putting, starting to put the black away. And I typed out some more words that you gave me, some positive quotes to put on his chest. <laughs> there he is. Oh, that's just such a joy to do because... All you have to do is rip paper and glue. Oh, Cheryl, good morning to you. And you're saying good afternoon to me. That's very sweet of you. <laughs> Let me see. Can I find something I want in here? Let me have another look. I've got another little pot here. Because you like to see all the goodies, don't you? These are great. Because these just, I put one of these just as an edge. These little the buttons. They're quite nice to leave on the card, aren't they? No, I didn't see Lena was inspired by me. Uh, how lovely. Do, now, do, correct me if I'm wrong, do I know Lena? Remind me who she is and where I can find her. Gorgeous colours. Some of these are from the button skip. Nelly and I, I have, we went to, and I've got some sixpences, some old British coins here, some sixpences, because Kendra wanted one, because in the States, not here, it's a tradition to put a sixpence, have something blue, and put pop a sixpence in your shoe. So I sent one to Kendra. <laughs> and there's some there to play with. If I wanted to add one of those to this cluster, I could. Because Starving Emma gave me a brilliant idea. She sewed, sewed round a file folder. You can find this video on Starving Emma. Put some stitches, you can do it by hand, and then you pop the coin in. You could do this on a travel journal. Says, says me, not being able to get into it. Oh. Lena's channel. Oh, right, Miss. I don't know whether I know Lena. I'm writing it down just in case I I lose that. My in my handy dandy notebook, Lena. Okay, Lena. I'll just ask you later if I can't find. Oh, how? Well, how lovely. It's nice to find new people. And then you just slot it in, and then. You get, that's a bit big, so I'm not going to do it up. And then you 
if you've got one, you can sew it. Or if you've got, you can put the metal tabs in and the pins, the bulb pins, then you've got a nice little dangly bit. It could dangle from here. There we are. But that idea came from Starving Emma. But I digress. I went down a rabbit hole, Cheryl. <laughs> Thank you, Kimberly, for doing that. Susan, hi. Welcome. And welcome, Nancy, too. Welcome, everybody. I okay, think I'm going to sew one of these little buttons on. I'm going to try and make it flatter, this one. I'll sew a button on. Look at this. This is nice, too. Little vintage. Lovely colour, isn't it? <laughs> there we are. So, where am I? Where's my... Oh, did we decide on this? Did we decide that this was too bulky? Did we decide against that? It's the first time you've seen a sixpence. <laughs> oh, is it really? Oh, yes. Well... Do you know, Cheryl, I'm so old that we, when I was little, we still had sixpences and threepenny bits. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know. Oh, well, I'll have to send you one, Cheryl. <laughs> oh, yes. And if you haven't got a sixpence, a halfpenny will do. And if you haven't got a halfpenny, well, God bless you. That's right. You tried to get me singing again, Cheryl. Look, you need to be in frame, don't you? Another member of my family decided they needed to use the dining room table, so, um, which is absolutely fair enough, isn't it? So I had to take the stepladder down. So the camera's at a little bit of a different angle today. <laughs> I'm going to go and follow Lena, yes. She made a toucan. Aha, she posted a pic on Twitter. Aha. Well, I never. Well, how lovely. I love, toucans are inspired because they're so colourful, aren't they? Oh, now a sixpence is worth two and a half pennies. So... You could say two and a two and a bit dollars. Yes. No, not two dollars. Oh, what am I saying? What am I saying? Two and a half pence, and there's a hundred pence in a pound. So yes, do the maths. Gosh, Melanie dear, can you do the maths? Um, yes, not a lot. I don't think you could get much for two and a half pence now but we used to be able to get little penny sweets oh here's Melanie <laughs> oh dear oh Cheryl had you lost them had you lost your buttons and you found them now good mm. it would be very hard for us to lose the buttons because we have quite a lot of jars and pots full of buttons. I'm just, um, oh, I'm just sewing away here, not telling you what I'm doing. I'm, oh, I'm having a good time, actually. I'm just, uh, just sewing on some beads now, just because I can. Oh, the needle has become unthread. So let me see if I can thread the needle live. Mm. Oh, with the sixpence, is putting 2.5 cents worth. Oh, cents, yes. There's, yes, cents in a dollar, two and a half cents. Yes, thank you. I got my American money wrong. Let me see. I'll show you. Let's just do it all live. Let's be brave. Can I thread the needle? Oh, and I can. How lovely. <laughs> Oh, you're going to make fabric strips. Oh, Anne. Well, um, 
do let me do go to Deb Ferrell's website as well because um, she was making them in paper and they were absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And this is what in we inspired me. You see, that's what it is, Anne. We all inspire one another, don't we? We, we fire off one another. I see something and then I think, oh, I'm going to do it this way. And we put our, our individual spin on it, yes. Mary, good morning. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Beth, Beth, you're putting Joyce's channel in. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Oh, look at that. Beth's, Beth's um, had, had quite a good night's sleep, so she's doing, she's doing a little bit of admin. Do stop, though, when you've had enough, Beth, dear. Teresa. While you're here, just in case you need to nip off to make breakfast for the family, let me just show you. I'll pop that there. We, last week, we were making these apron embellishments. I'm going to have a recipe on the back of this card for butterfly cakes. <laughs> I finished this one off. I didn't finish it on stream last week. I made a little, just a little wooden butterfly button and I put some tissue paper on to make that. Now, our lovely Teresa, here she is in the chat, has this, has a die that cuts these out. This one was freehand. We folded the paper in half, make it symmetrical, and we did a little little freehand one, but our lovely Teresa is, hi Joyce, nice to see you, welcome. <laughs> oh, thank you Joyce, how lovely. <laughs> um, so, our lovely Teresa did a video. Now, if anybody's able to link to Teresa's video, the video is absolutely adorable. It's we 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 spend a lot of time with Teresa, and just to hear Teresa's voice, it's just so special. It's lovely, and tr oh, the needle came unthreaded again. Oh no, it didn't. Um, just to hear your voice, it was just so lovely. So pop your link in if you want to, Teresa. Because Teresa's inviting you to choose from all her lovely papers. She flicks through all the papers. She's inviting you to choose what paper you want. And she's got the die cut of the aprons. So she's offering to send you a die cut of an apron so you can make one. I thought that was very sweet of Teresa. And it's just so lovely to hear her voice. I love it. Ah. You can't, you can't put the link in yet. You're on the phone. Absolutely no pressure. Someone else may do it if they're not too busy. There we are. The needle comes unthread a lot when you're sewing live, real time, doesn't it? Ah, oh, good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, rise and shine. <laughs> it's Monday, happy Monday. I'm here for all your Sesame Street needs. <laughs> oh, isn't that right? Your Shannon, good morning, Shannon. Shannon thought I sounded like I was somebody from Sesame Street. <laughs> The other on um, last Monday, didn't she? Oh, <laughs> wow! Watching some it, it's like watching paint dry. Watching somebody thread a needle, thread a needle live. It's it m might not be happening this time. <laughs> yes, Cheryl, wasn't it lovely? And. 
talking about hearing our voices of all these lovely ladies that we see in the chat. Um, oh, did I do it? Oh, yes, I did it. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> That's a relief. Oh, dear. Yes, join um, join Cheryl. Cheryl, if you can, if you have the energy to drop your link. Oh, Cheryl shows us um, a haul and through one of her books. Absolutely love it. I love these videos. Here we are. I'm just picking up some sequins. We're making, if you've just come in, we're making cluster strips for the for the edges of pages inspired by Deb Ferrell. Deb, Deb might be in later, so we'll show her what we've made. She made them out of paper, so don't feel you have to. Some people really might not like sewing. They might think it's a little bit fiddly diddly, mightn't they? It, oh, there we are. I was mentioned your name. It's actually, this is like the Deb Ferrell show. I've mentioned your name quite a few times. <laughs> Oh, I'm Janet across the sea, as opposed to lovely Janet USA. We have our Janet USA, don't we? She's not with us this morning, but she'll watch us later. Deb, these fabric clusters that I'm making are inspired by your amazing video of your paper edges yeah no you went naughty don't worry no no you're not in trouble yet <laughs> oh. but of course because I've got this little obsession at the moment of making things with it's hard for me to get the camera in the right my hand in the right place today I'll get used to it there it's just my little obsession and Laura's obsession just to gently be making things from fabric. <laughs> oh. So I have been, oh, ciao. Is that the link to your video? That's lovely. Thank you. <laughs> oh. There we are. Well, I've sewn a few bits on. And it's nearly coming to the end of the needle. So this is what I've been, this is my take on it. It's lovely to watch someone's video and then do one's own take. Later on, I could put a row of stitches down there if I wanted to. Where's the other ones? Oh, I've stuck one in a book already. And here's another one. They're quite thick, though. Yes, they're long clusters, aren't they? To go down the edge of a page. <laughs> oh, actually, now I look at it, they're quite like the other ones I made with the set of... Oh. <laughs> oh, ah, I think maybe later, Beth. Teresa will share the link. Yes, you're right, because I think it's a private video that um, Teresa shares within the group. So we will sort that out. If you want to, if you would like Teresa, um, a cutout from Teresa, the fabric, come, just message me and we'll get in contact with Teresa and she'll help us, she'll help you to, see the video so you can choose the paper. <laughs> mm. No, it won't even work if you stick your tongue out and concentrate, Joyce. <laughs> so I'm going to pack this away now and say that that's our inspiration for today from Deb. So I'm glad you popped in, popped by, Deb. To, to So you, you were here when I was showing that. I love to be inspired all week. I've been inspired by what everybody else has been, been doing. 
the other person that inspired me was Shelley crafting mamas. I'm just throwing everything over the other side of the dining room table. That's your latest video. Thank you, Cheryl. Yes, hop over there to here, our lovely Cheryl. These are going in the post tomorrow. My ATC fabric coins. I'll chuck everything. And now I'm going to be very brave because I'm very new to all this videoing and live streaming. Here's Teresa. Oh, is that the link, Teresa? Oh, to your... Oh, do follow the link. And Teresa is very generously offering to send you die cuts of the apron so you can make some recipe aprons. Right, my jelly plate. Which way shall I put it? This way. Fancy doing this live. Very brave of me, isn't it? Well, I think it is. I've seen everybody else has been doing their jelly plate and I have been so inspired by what everybody's been doing. Let me get my paints out. Now, I'm gonna make it all to me. Here's my basket of paints. Some of them are a little bit crusty maybe, uh, but well, we'll have a go. And I've got, I've got, this is a brayer. If you haven't got a brayer, this was, this was from wallpapering. Now, as you can see, I don't, I like, I don't wash it off afterwards, but this colour will come up. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I like that. <laughs> and on the other side, I must have been having a, a, a dark session. We'll use that side as well. Ah, oh, Cheryl's asking about you, Freddie. He's been in the water today, Cheryl. <laughs> Let's start with... Will we get some out of here? Let's see. He's been swimming, so he's over there in the chair. You might hear a creaky chair every now and again. He's over there. Now, I'm going to relax and just have fun, because this is new for me, to do something live, because you're not quite sure how it's going to turn out. But I'm fascinated. It's like when people have been opening their, when Paint Girlie opened her, opened up her eco boil. You're, not, you, you're vulnerable, aren't you? Because you're not quite sure if it's going to be a success. And But that was very brave of her to open it up live. And I loved it because it's like Christmas. Now, I probably got way too much, way too much. I'm just gonna go with it. I'll do what I usually do, shall I? There we are. There. Lovely, I've got some, oh, I need to wipe this off on something. Lovely. I've got that there. I've got some paper ready. I've got some magazine paper and I, You're very, I mean, what are you saying to me? I love how you don't clean it. Oh, I know. Well, yes. That see, yes, you're getting to know me more as the weeks go on. I'm not a I'm not a neat crafter. <laughs> but all that colour will come up. <laughs> oh, Beth, you've put Deb's link up. Thank you. Thank you very much. But Rebecca, um, go over. We'll all be hopping over to see our lovely Rebecca later. Let's have an experiment with these, won't we? Rebecca's got a lovely channel, and Rebecca, you just do everything live, don't you? You just, you don't, you don't mind. You just get on and craft, don't you? Let's see if these circles work, because they're a bit hard now. It's cotton. They're, they're out of a cotton sheet. 
And this was a Laurie Marie technique. You popped them on and you gessoed over a page. And I thought, oh, I'll save them. Let's see what we get, shall we? They were just in the drawer over there, actually. So I've no idea if this is going to work. You stream. Yes, you stream daily to hang out with your friends. Yes. And that's what I've got to realise. We're just friends here. And sometimes, actually, there are no mistakes, are there? There's just happy accidents, maybe. There are no mistakes. Let's see if they work, because obviously when they first got done, they, they're hard now. So let's put some paper, various papers. I Good job no one did some washing today, because I've got the washing stand next to me. I'm going to put the paper on top, and then I'm going to brayer it down. And we're just going to see what happens. Let's have a play. Yes. So, yeah, Rebecca, you have inspired me just to... Because I wanted, well, Melanie came round, you came round last week. We wanted to do some jelly um, printing, didn't we? But we were busy doing our coins and enjoying that, our OTC coins for the swap. And I thought, no, I'm going to do it live. Because it was Kathy Berg, wasn't it, on the hop that inspired us. Let's see. You. Ooh. Oh, circles. Oh, cool. Oh, there we are. Oh, hello, Melissa. Oh, you see, Cheryl, it's great because we find different channels and everything. Oh, Melanie, I'm being so brave, aren't I, doing this? <laughs> it feels, but I'm with all you lovely girls. We'll pop around tomorrow. We, we can do some. What I like about doing it on the deli paper is that when you put it on book pages, it shows through. Oh, Beth, thank you for showing, sharing Rebecca's link. Oh, how are you, Melissa? Now, Melissa, in Beth's group, I shared a link today. And it's Mary's video. And she opens the tag swap. And she gets your tag, Melissa, and she's saying, oh, isn't it lovely? It's the one of the fish. Oh, do watch it, Melissa. She, Mary, loves your tag. <laughs> Good morning, Barbara. How are you? Ah, oh, so we're jelly plating. <laughs> I love that. Great. Good, good, good. Now, I don't know whether I'll get anything else. Shall I try? See if I get another one from it. So this is just a magazine that I just sewed. Now, I don't know what I'm going to use these for, just for collage or... We're just doing it because we can. How are you this morning, Barbara? I know it's early over there for you guys. Let's see, did we get any more out of it? We got some circles it's quite what's that word when it's all squishy den den something better now that you're here good morning let's start the week start the week as we mean to go on brilliant i'm glad you're here right well ah now let me get another piece of paper I don't like to waste anything. And we'll take all these off and then we'll see. Let's see if there's enough paint underneath to roll on. You could cut these circles out of, out of paper. Try it. Dendrite. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> I quite like it when it goes like that. And we've got some nice marks, some round marks. Now, it was paint girly. That's right. Laurie, paint girly. 
that's when I finally decided I am going to jelly tape because she was doing some amazing things with leaves. So I'm just putting these on a paper. Sorry, it's out of shot, but I will show you. Just in case there's any juice left on them, I will use that. These are going to be nice, actually, to use in a collage for texture. Ew. Ooh, yes. Pop them in, in there. And I'm going to roll it. And then let's just see if anything comes off. Oh, everything we do is relaxing, like the gluing. And this, I think this is going to be a very relaxing morning. If you haven't got a jelly plate, and I know you can make them, but if you don't want to make one, do, what do other people use? If, so just in case some people haven't got a jelly plate. Teresa, did you find your brayer? Because we both lost our brayer, hadn't we? Oh, Malaya, how lovely to see you. Good morning. Oh, I do hope that you have a really good week. I've been watching Malaya's channel too. And she was on with Crafting Mama and she was um, making boxes. Oh, we didn't get anything. I just wanted to make sure I didn't waste any paint. But that doesn't... Oh, well, we've got a little bit. And aren't these? These are gorgeous. Um, I, would, I don't know whether to save them for the jelly plate or just to use them in a collage. Mm. You, yes, you were making boxes for storage, weren't you, Malaya? Deco patching. Ooh, one of our favourite things to do. Here you go. Joyce has got, if you haven't got a jelly plate, Joyce is saying you can use the inside plastic bags of cereals and you can use sink protection pads. Now, I'm not quite sure what sink protect. Do I know what that is, Melanie? Or is that an American thing? I've got some circles there. OK, just Malay, just so you can see what we did with the circles as we speak. I'm making rhubarb chutney. Na Ooh, I'm wondering whether this is going to be a yucky colour. I don't know. Nana's recipe for rhubarb chutney. Her mother passed down a couple of generations. I had rhubarb in the garden. And I just picked it. I wonder whether that's got a bit of a yucky colour. This is what happens, isn't it, when you do things live? But that's fine. Just roll this off. I'm not going to waste any of the paint. Yes, yeah, so do nip, nip over to see Malay's channel as well. Isn't it lovely? We can all see one another. Ah, oh, I'm just going to lift that off plain just to see if I can get any of those circles from underneath. This is just a magazine and I put some um, <laughs> there we are put it down like this this is nice it's nice and cool hmm. use any surfaces that are the same for dendrite. Oh, okay, yeah, any surfaces that are safe. Okay. Ooh, and yes, the chutney is absolutely gorgeous. Are those circles showing? Mm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let me just use the. The reason I have deli paper is because my lovely friend Cheryl B sent me a packet from. The States. Thank you, Cheryl B. 
I'm trying to get those circles up from underneath. Ooh, mango chutney. Yum. <laughs> oh, Deb. Have to go now. Actually getting out today and running errands. Okay. Oh, bye-bye, Deb. Oh, all the way across the sea there. Bye, Deb. <laughs> bye, Deb. Travel safely. Yes, you do, Melanie. You come round, don't you? We'll come round tomorrow if you want to. There, let's see. Is that... Oh, yes. Can you see the shadow of those circles there? That's subtle, isn't it? And then put that under a book page. Let's just get some writing here, maybe. Put that under book page and you'll you'll get the writing underneath from underneath as well i love that mm. well that's an experiment for me <laughs> i love that gosh this is fun this is fun there's still more circles there shall i what should i put down some should i put down some white and see <laughs> thank you thank you Teresa. Thank you, Mary. Yes, yeah, so the chutney, it's a nice spicy chutney and it goes nicely. We've already had some this year and we I opened the last jar. We had like a little plowman's lunch in the garden, the last of summer, the last summer weekend maybe. So a plowman's it is bread or in our case it was oat cakes. And cheese and chutney and pickles, gorgeous, served with maybe a shandy or a pins or something. Traditionally, probably a shandy. A shandy is beer and lemonade. You can have a non-alcoholic little drink too, which I did. <laughs> Ooh, it's very um den. I don't. I can't. Still can't say that word. Dendritic. Get another piece of paper. I don't want to waste any of this. I'm loving it. Now I've got pegs here. I'm going to peg them up so they don't look like sticking to one another. So don't be lazy, Janet. Peg them up. That's it. I'm talking to myself here. Pick them up. If they're finished, I've got to, I think I've finished with this one. I, I'm going to hang that one up. Hang that one up. Now, this is pure experiment, just putting this white over. This isn't me at all. Getting the, oh, wow, this is another level for me. <laughs> The cluster strips. Oh, Beth, did you see your cluster strips are like a cut above the rest? Did you see Laura? I posted the video. She opened the tags, loved the tags, and she loved Beth's cluster strip with the fashion girl on it. Was it a, a cutout doll? I think it was a vintage paper doll, wasn't it? Here we go. Have I got any more of those circles? This is just by way of an experiment. Hmm, I'm not sure I have, but I don't dislike that. Because they, they all make background paper, paper dolls, yes. You have, you have. Oh, I'd love you to show us those a little look through. You have got some lovely ones. Oh, here's Paint Girlie, Laurie. <laughs> Guess who got me to get the, um, the old jelly plate out on a live stream? It was you, Laurie. You were so brave because you were thinking, I, oh, you were saying, I'm not quite sure. But I'm not quite sure and I'm just going for it. I'm in search of those circles because you've got leaves. Oh, well, I haven't got any more, but I'm happy 
with what I've got. So that can become a background paper. All good in the hood. <laughs> so we, I think we, we've got all the circles off there now. Yes, you and there's there's a Freddy piece of Freddy fur there. Yes, you inspired me. Thank you. And your eco boiling. I shall be doing some of that now. Let's choose another colour. Shall we have some gold? Yes, let's have gold. Oh, oh, okay. Do you know, Laurie? Um, I tried many a time. I have tried to do. Oh, yes, because you were on with Shelley, weren't you? And she's great at great at them. Just keep going. Have another go. Have another go. I do. And even the fails, I think they've got great texture. I even love the ones that don't come out very well. I think with practice, I've become a little better at them. I'm no expert, but um, people were giving you advice, weren't they, Laurie, and saying not too much paint, not too much paint. So I'm not trying not to put too much paint on. Look at this one. Treat to self. Dola and Roni. Dola and Roni. Gold. <laughs> you won't find much fancy paint, but we've got a little bit. Oh. And how lovely, Laurie, that you, you got a picture or a video sent over of your English little grandchild. Your honorary grandchild. I'm not wasting any of this. There we are. Just popping it on a roll off sheet there. Right, now what should we print with now? I've got lots of things here. Now, what shall we? Ah! This was in my Happy Mail from my American friend. Isn't it lovely? Intriguing. It's packaging. Oh, Cheryl's popping in a link. Thank you. Is that the Paint Girl's channel? Let's stretch it out. Doesn't that look fun? That looks such fun. Let's see if it prints. There we are. Oh, Melissa, don't worry if you haven't got a jelly plate. Um, you could use, I'll get, I'll get something out. I'll just do this one and then we'll try and do something without the jelly plate. We'll use another medium. I'm <laughs> just having fun here, as you can see. Um, oh got something out on there oh, how interesting right i'm gonna lift that off you i like that i never waste the paint on this either i shall just pop it on pop it on here and roll it down oh fun fun let's peel this off and see it's like christmas oh yes love it it's what we call texture. Maybe, Marie, your, your transfers went failure. They're what we call texture. Makes them look more vintagey. You right, okay, okay. I'll finish with that. I shall pop that there. I'm gonna get in a right mess. And now I'll get another piece of paper and let's just see if I get anything from there. I'll just put this over here like this and see if any of that comes up. There we are. Good. Oh yeah, nice texture. They're very nice. It's pretty. <laughs> Freddie is He's over there on the chair. I can't bend the camera around at this angle, unfortunately. I know, I know what I've got here. 
paint might be drying. Laurie says, hi, Freddy. You can tell what I've been eating. Melanie, squirty cream. Uh-oh. Oh, it's all circles today, isn't it? Oh, it's like a little... Oh, oh my. It's like a little flower. You can see that, can't you? Oh, that really is quite pretty. Hmm. Don't worry, in a minute we will do, we'll have an experiment without the jelly plate. Plastic bag, you say. So let's do that. Let's have a look. Oh, I had no idea it would make a little flower. Silly me. I just thought I'd test it out. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, little. Um, Cheryl's saying, join us at Beth's channel. Yes, join us at Beth's and Rebecca's and, oh, Dad's and Laurie's. Lovely. Oh, look at that. My, my paint was drying. Ooh, we're going to do some more of that. I like that. Ooh. What a vintage wall look. I was going for that vintage wall look. Oh yes. <laughs> I need some more paint. The paint was drying. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for those colours again, if you don't mind, because I was rather liking that. And we're gonna do more of these flowers. I love it. Ooh, okay. I'm going generously in with the um with the gold. And brown, because I'm getting I'm getting to be autumny. That's why. Oh dear, it might be argued that I'm putting too much paint on, but <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> mm. Right. There are still a few flowers in the background. Oh. Maybe I have got too much paint on, but, oh, can you have too much paint? I don't know. There we are. Right, I need to roll this onto something because it's a lot of nice, yummy paint. And then it becomes a nice background. Or you can rip it up. We could make, instead of, we could make a collage from... Painty papers, that's what Penny's been doing. There we are. Just rolled it out. Yep. Lovely. So, oh, let's do this again. The creamer. You have these, don't you? The squirty cream, I would imagine. Put some over. Oh, we've got a nice little piece of silk gone on there. Oh, better than a dog hair. There we are. Oh. That's a nice sound, isn't it? Ooh, listen to that. I'm having way too much fun. I just don't want to waste any of that paint. And then in with the this bit, the flowery bit. Hi, Suze. Nice to see you. We're having fun with the jelly plate. Ooh. This is, this is too much fun. <laughs> nice to see you. Ooh, look. So when you do a few, then you can print it down onto the paper. Ooh. But you're saying don't take too much time, otherwise it dries, Janet. Okay, okay. I'm listening. I'm listening to you. Okay. Ooh. Lovely. Well, this is, this is different. How long have we had the jelly plate here for Melanie? I'm not sure. I'm going to do it on the deli paper because it didn't show up so nicely on the deli paper. I like the sound too. Oh, Cheryl, wouldn't these make lovely tags? Yes. Yes. Did you want me to make some tags today? Or are you suggesting, yes, these would make lovely tags? Yes, they would, wouldn't they? Oh, yes. 
right? I, you don't need to do it that much. I was just enjoying the coolness of it. <laughs> Ooh, just like Christmas, Laurie. <laughs> oh, lovely. I'm liking that. Very autumny, and that's gold as well. I like that. Oh, well done. That to me is a finished one. I'm not going to put anything more on there. I'm going to peg that up on the washing line. I'll pop a picture up of it all later on Beth's group. There we are. Loving that. I'll see if I can get more. I don't like to waste any of the paint. <laughs> Thank you, Laurie. Well, you'll need to go out and get some cream. I'm just saying. <laughs> you'll need to make some scones, some English scones, and get some jam and cream. There we are. There. Do you think I need to check that chutney? Oh, just... Just talk amongst yourselves for a little minute while I just check that chutney, just to check that it's not boiling dry. Just checking the chutney bar. Oh no, it's got a long way to go yet. No, just checking. I've got it on a very, very low gas. It's on the top of the hob. Yes. <laughs> chat, chat and chutney. Chutney chat. So what is chutney? Chutney is made with ooh, fruit, vinegar and sugar. It's like a pickle, like a pickle. It's like a savoury jam. Maybe one would say, yes. And one has it with cheese and cheese and ham. Well, there you go. That was just, I didn't want to waste that. That can have some more bits on it. There's some gold there, but oh, I wonder whether, shall I put some white on the top of this? Oh, acrylic blocks. Yes. Oh, I did say before I put more paint down, we were going to try it on something different. Because some people, you know, might not have a jelly plate. Yes. Yes. Let me just use this bit of gold up here. I don't like to waste any. So what did we say? Let's let's find something that we've got and experiment. Yes. Yeah, so with with. Chicken, oh, cold meats. It's very autumny, yes, the last of the rhubarb. And then I always make sure I've got a jar for Christmas. Oh, do come round, do come round. And there's just like little bits of background there. I didn't want to waste this. I didn't want to waste this paint. There was a lot there for some reason. There we are. Right, okay. So I won't hang that up because that's a background. So what did we say we were going to use? Let me go and find something else. Let me go and get some. Um, ah, I know what I've got. I know what I've got. I'm walking gingerly around the room. Melanie knows what it's like, don't you, Melanie? Here's Freddie. I've got here... Um, a bit of glue on it. So let's have an experiment. If you haven't got a jelly plate, what can we do? I've got a chopping board here that's full of clay and paint. It's not. A, it's um. It's not a bobbly one. It's a flat one. It's one that I use for my clay. So let's see if we can use this as a jelly plate. So if you haven't got a jelly plate, can we use this? Good morning. Welcome, Nina. Welcome. We're doing some jelly printing and we're also... Oh, you thought it needed to be squashy. Right. 
oh, I love this. I love the interaction of this. Right, you thought it needed to be squashy. And, and Mary, you're right. That makes sense. That makes so much sense. So much sense. Wonder what people used to use before. Um, yeah, let me see. It's like a little challenge. Challenge Janet. Okay. Okay. What about... What about Mary? What about... Big question. Too late to do circle. Oh, oh have I missed something? <laughs> Oh, oh, that's that's nice, Beth. Oh, yes. Not too late. You can swap with Beth. Fantastic. Yes. Good. And do the ATC coin swap. Yes. Silicon mat. Ooh, if you've got a silicon mat, I'm going to get an Ikea bag. How that, Mary? It's not that squishy. Oh, Suze, I'm sorry. That you had a sleepless night. That's really, really bad. Styrofoam trays. Oh, yes. I love styrofoam trays. I haven't got any here. They're nice and bobbly. Let's try on here. Let's try. It's not that squishy, but um, let's pop it under a pad of paper. <clears throat> Ooh, you don't get as many styrofoam pads. There we are. Got a pad of paper and that. So let's try it. Well, look, we're just going to have an experiment today. So let's get some red. Oh, no, not so keen on the red. No, change my mind. Let's try. And this is another nice one. A nice greeny colour. Use a towel underneath. Oh, do you know I am... I'm loving this. I'm loving the interaction. Ew, I haven't got a towel, but I've got a very old pair of trousers that I was going to cut up. <laughs> Here we are, look. Linen trousers I was going to cut up for the material that I'm sitting on. How about that? Okay, this is for you, Melissa. It doesn't have to be an Ikea bag, but we get there. Hmm. Yeah. It's quite, I think I need to fold the material. Hold on. They were just too old and rich, but I thought, ooh, there's buttons on there that I can have and material. Right, let's try that. Yeah. And then put the bag over it. You could put it inside the bag. You can tell that I'm actually going to get in quite, quite the mess here, but... There you go. Oh, what fun. Oh, I'm just going for green. Just going for green. And then we're going to... Oh, I think it would be much better if the material was inside the bag because it's hard to get it to... But it needs to be a piece of material. It doesn't matter if it gets paint on it. Ew, it's very dendritic, if that's the word. Ooh, loving that. Right, I'm going to put this over here, not wasting any of this gorgeous colour. Gorgeous colour, isn't it? Right, okay. So, what am I going to roll out this time? I'm going to use... Oh! <laughs> bring out the big guns. I'm going to use this lovely roller. This, this at one time had a sponge and a tray attached to it and I rolled a pattern on my wall. Right, okay, so roll that up there and I need to roll this on something. I, I don't like to waste any. Oh, a mouse pad works. Oh, you guys are the best. You guys are really the best. A mouse mat. And just a little bit there. Oh, have you got a mouse mat, Melissa? 
or anyone in the family. I haven't got one here because I don't use a mouse anymore. Let's get some more deli paper. Yes, a mouse mat. I think we've solved that, haven't we? Because um, have most people got a mouse mat in the house? Yes. Yes, a mouse mat. There we are. Yes, a mouse mat. I was determined to come up with a solution because I know not everybody can get a... I don't think I've got a mouse mat to hand, actually. Ooh, okay. Scrunch up a plastic grocery bag and use it to make a pattern on the jelly plate. Right, I will go and get one. There we are. I would say, I would say I haven't had much success with that technique. But I won't waste it. You can't tell that lovely colour, actually. I won't waste it because it's colour and that can be a background. I would say I haven't had much success with my plastic bag and old trousers scenario. But I think I've got a feeling. Yeah, I will. I will stencil on top of that there. Yes. Ooh, piece of bubble wrap. Ooh, yes. I'm not wasting any, I don't waste any paint because, yes, you're right, they become backgrounds. Yes. There we are. I'll try that, Cheryl. I will go and get an old plastic bag in a minute. Yes. I'll do it now while I remember. Yes, yes. Let me give you something to look at while I... Let me give you something to look at while I'm gone. Yes, so I think we're saying if you haven't got a jelly plate, Try a mouse mat, an old mouse mat no one's using anymore. Try that. Yeah. Okay, Melissa, because I don't want to do anything that you know people people can't can't have, haven't got. Now I'm in a pickle. I'm making pickle. Where have I put in moving that? Where have I moved the jelly plate to? Well, you can tell this is live, can't you? I've lost the jelly plate. Now, I can't show you the room. You can't help me because it's it's quite um, eclectic, isn't it, Melanie, dear? No, I've completely lost the jelly plate. Well, there we are. You, you wouldn't think it would be possible to lose a jelly plate, would you, in the house? Um, where did I put it? Mm. Oh, well, oh no, here it is on the floor. <laughs> Who recognised this? <laughs> oh, you cover the mouse map with foil. Oh, Anne, I'm loving this. Okay, Melissa, or and anyone who hasn't got a jelly plate, an old mouse mat could ask your family about that, and you can cover it with foil can use it as long as they're not using it anymore right so what are we going to do we are going to do Cheryl's idea what colors what colors have I got left look here's my little basket of colors <laughs> let me see some have got more in than others oh this is quite all to me I was going to put the bright pink on it but um Oh, Cheryl, that's great. Anything to get some texture. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. I, I will put some pink on just because it's in my hand. It's not particularly all to me, but. Um, ew. And then this is for Beth, some blue. Did you recognize Beth's pottery? 
This has got a bit gunk, gets a bit gunked up. Oh, wrap it. Wrap it, yes. Wrap it in, um, is that the banana skin or the, wrap the banana skin? Or is it wrap the, wrap the mouse mat, wrap the mouse mat in foil? Have I got any blue for you? Oh, good morning, Joe. <laughs> you did recognise the flowers. I've probably got too much paint on, Laurie. I'm a bit like that. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Lovely, lovely. So that chutney is probably going to be bubbling away till about, oh, I don't know. For another couple of hours, yeah. It'll be bubbling away when I go in the kitchen to make dinner and listen to Rebecca. That's my little daily routine to listen to Rebecca. Right, now, where shall I put this pink? On a fresh sheet? No, I shall put it, I think I'll put it on this sheet so I don't waste it. And this will dry. Whoa, doesn't that pink and blue look nice together? It is so easy, isn't it, Laurie? But one could argue, Laurie, could you ever have too much paint? Really? I don't know. No. I'm using things today that I haven't used before. This is from a, a game from my son. Press it down. Let's see what we get. Oh, I was going to use the shopping bag, wasn't I, Joe? I'll use that next. It's on my lap. You can see I've been spraying to get some circles. They must have had counters on this game. We They play a lot of games, especially when we went on holiday. Lift that up. Ew, nice sound, nice sound. More circles. It's the day of the circles. And I never like to waste the paint on here, so I will pop it down here. There we are. Oh, yes. Ooh. So, look, there was paint on the back of there, and I just used that, as you do, as you do. And I've got an old, not an old, but a paper bag here, probably left over from holiday. Let's put this on be a nice little journal or a gift. Let's pop that on the plate. Rebecca, yes, you're getting ready. Let's keep you company. It's nice to have a bit of Sesame Street while you're getting ready. <laughs> oh, nice to have you there. Ah, oh, Dorinda, how are you? Welcome. I'm using the jelly plate this morning. Dorinda, I've been enjoying. I, I always seem to get back to circles, Mary. I've been enjoying your videos, Dorinda. I loved your pockets that you made. You, lovely. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh, lovely. Now, the boys know me. They bring me bits and pieces. And... Um, Sam brought this down, so instead of putting it in the recycling, he said, would this come in handy for your art? They're getting to know. Oh, Candy. Oh, you saw. Oh, is it painful now? Or does it ease it up a bit once you've, you've, you've had your physical therapy? Oh, Candy. Thinking of you. Let, we'll keep you company. Oh, yes. Yes. Joyce has come up with an idea. If you haven't got a jelly plate, so we're talking about covering um, a mouse mat with tin foil and or a bubble mailer. So, Melissa, if you're there, that's um, a, an envelope with bubble wrap inside. Yes. And then you cover that maybe with foil. Yes. Oh, we come up with the best ideas. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And when that's dry, we'll do the other side of the bag. 
that'll make a nice little bag for a birthday present maybe or it might just become a piece of paper <laughs> hot pink <laughs> oh dear anything goes anything goes right now will we get any more out of this let's just see have i got anything that's a backing a backing paper that's dry yet i've got this one this is dry and it hasn't got much on it so i don't know whether the colors go together they do now thanks gerald oh Ooh, I missed a, somebody's, ooh, I missed something up there. Oh, yes, used for clusters, paper clusters. But, well, I tell you what, next Monday we'll use these. We'll, be make, we'll make some clusters and envelopes with our jelly prints. It can be what we can use our jelly printing for. Ah, oh, yeah, that really is quite, quite a mix. And I don't mind it. And it's got the little flowers in. Oh, yeah, no, I like it. Right, so now I'm going to put on there some white. This is a new thing for me, lifting up this colour underneath. I, I never seem to pull it. Some people, they pull it up and they have a completely, I'm looking for the white, a completely clear board underneath. But I... I never seem to do that. And yeah, never comes all all comes up. I don't mind. It is what it is. I'm quite relaxed. Oh, there's the white. How are you, Dorinda? Have you been doing more on your journals this weekend? I'm just going to cover this with white. This is just a Poundland paint. Oh, <laughs> there we are, look. It's at the boss. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, excuse me. I'm having too much of a nice time. Too nice, too nice. I'm liking that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on a minute. Let's get a background. I need quite a... A dark, have I got a dark background yet that's dry? That's not dark enough. Let's try, let's try this one. This is that green. I'm loving this. I don't know what I'm going to get from it. Too much paint, there's too much paint on there. <laughs> Hi, Colleen. Oh, look at you. This, you. You and Kathy have inspired me to get my jelly plate out. <laughs> I love that splat. It was such a Janet's gone wild. I know. I've gone rogue. I've gone rogue. That wasn't meant to happen, but let's see what comes of it. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, how are you, Colleen? Oh, loving all your work and seeing everything that you've put on Instagram. Absolutely love it. And your pumpkin, that's a bit wet. Um, I'll just put it on anyway. I don't think this is a jelly plate tutorial. It's just jelly plate fun. <laughs> you cut open your paint tubes and squeeze them as much as you can. I will do that. I've got some scissors here. I think I'll have to do that. Yes. Mm. I know, Mary. <laughs> it's, it's fun. Oh dear. I don't know. That was lovely though. They're great. I've got some dendritic markings on it as well. Oh that has turned out to be a I please don't ask me what is this? It's pink and blue, but with the yellow underneath and the white. It's really rather splendid. Um, I haven't got anything. I've got something dark that's dried here. Let me just, just this one, just this purple, just to make sure. Now, what was I doing so, before I interrupted myself by squeezing all that paint out? 
<laughs> yeah, I've just got some more bits on there. That's going to grow. I'm loving that. <laughs> oh, I just throw everything around. But, ah, oh, I know what I was doing. Well, let's, so we don't get in the same state, because if I squeeze it out again and get all this, I'll have to do it again. I'm going to open this up. And, oh, lovely. Oh, loving that. Oh, don't say it. That's a nice mark as well, isn't that? Okay, so <laughs> I'll just oh, I'll just cover it for the minute. Just cover it up. Lovely. Yes, everybody, Colleen, everybody have been getting out the jelly plates. So there's me thinking oh, I need to do that too. Now I'm just doing this to see if I can get any of that colour from underneath. I don't know whether I can. I'm not wasting this either. Lovely. And this is this is Cheryl's. Art. Oh, hold on. I'm going to put a piece of paper on there first. Isn't that what I'm going to do? To see if I can get that colour. Yes. Ooh. I'm having way too much. Oh, was that, that was your collage, was that your collage, Anne, that um, Colleen saw? Oh, yes, I did. It's very subtle. I can't get it, I can't get it, get it there for you. It's very subtle, but I am getting some of those lovely colours. It's, gonna, it's almost like tissue paper. Oh, I like that. I do like it. That will make a nice background. If I look closely, there are some circles and some of those flowers there. I love that. Okay, right. So let's do Cheryl's idea now. What colour would you like to do the plastic bag in, Cheryl? Oh, you know, you might not be there. You're getting your coffee. I think I might have to cut this one open. Favourite colour. Favourite colour. Jennifer's here. Jen's Atlantia. I think your name is, isn't it? Jen. Jenny. This is your one of your favourite colours, teal. Ew, wow. Loving this. <laughs> what, what could I put with teal to make it a nice colour? What have I got? Oh, I had another white there. What have I got? I will put, oh, I put the pink again. Hot pink. Oh, Cheryl's back. It's a shame to roll these shapes out, isn't it? But I will. Oh, roll them. Oh, Joe said yellow. Oh, no, Joe, sorry. I will do teal and yellow next, Joe. Joe has an eye. He has an eye for these things. Joe's really quite arty. We're waiting for Joe to come on with Beth. We need to get two cameras set up and get Joe doing some. Ooh, this is going to make a nice, delish background, isn't it? Hmm. I'll take this one away. Oh, it's got some white splashes on it as well. Yum. Just roll this away. Ew, it's got pink and oh, ooh. Oh, everything's a surprise when you do this. Oh, black and blue. Oh, right, yes. Remind me, I, I'm going to do these colour combinations. Look at that, that was my roller. And it came out with the pink and teal on it oh lovely i love it i love it oh everything's so different every time like this is cheryl's idea you get a grocery bag 
And then you, oh, you've done this before. Oh, loving this. And make a nice, oh, lovely. Love it. And I love the sound. Right, just on the bit that hasn't got any on, I'm just going to use this bit of teal. Oh, oh, I'm going to go over there. Oh, wow. Oh, super idea. Oh, you have your idea here. Oh, you're the A-team. You are the A-team. Oh, lovely. Look, look at that, child. Look how it printed off. That is amazing. Now that is what I call a background. Whoa, you'll have to tell me what you want me to make with these papers next week. What would you like to see me make? That's a texture in itself. That needs paper over it. I can't use that yet. No, I will use the deli paper. Love the deli paper. Pop this over. Do you use the shiny side or the dull side? I know, Beth. Right? Now, we don't need fancy mark-making tools, do we? I think we've all got a grocery bag or two. Now, Cheryl is falling out of a chair. <laughs> Sit up straight. Oh, yes, Teresa. I know that um, Laurie Marie does that in between her pages sometimes, like cling wrap, plastic wrap, scrunches it up, doesn't she? What texture? Oh, my goodness. What beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Again, it's very, very difficult to pick up um, when it's wet. Look at that. Look at the texture and the lovely colour. Thank you, child. That's amazing. That worked out. That worked beautifully. So that was a plastic bag scrunched up. Lynn, good morning. Oh, Lynn, we're here for you. We're here for all your working needs just to get you through that Monday morning. Oh, welcome. Welcome. We'll keep you company. Love that. So what other colours did we say? We said to go, oh, I think I can get another one out of this. Hold on. I don't like to waste any because they become super backgrounds. Green and orange. Oh, wow. You're going to have to set, oh, green and orange. And there was black and blue. Oh, dear. I should be writing these down. Ooh, lovely. Ooh. Okay, right. Have I got, what did Joe say to start with? It was teal and yellow. Now, I've only got a little bit of yellow left. Considering I'm doing, oh, I've got this, I've got this yellow. A little Poundland yellow. There we are, open it up. So it was pink and yellow. Is it pink and yellow for Joe? And isn't the plate a delicious colour? If anyone has any ideas of how I pick that up, um, let me know. Have I got much yellow left? Oh, Joe, I need to do yellow. But I need to do yellow because it's meant to be autumn. That's it. There you go. You've got some yellow. Don't panic. Do you know, I'm actually wearing an apron today because I thought I might get in a bit of a mess. It's not like me because normally my clothes, well, are just painting. What do the boys say when you get so excited over these papers? Oh, I think they just know me. They know me. They know that I get excited about rubbish. Yes. Any Now, Joe. That's all I can get out of the, the yellow, I'm afraid. That's the last of my yellow. Um, but I'll get some more. We've done a little bit of yellow for you. I hope you're not too disappointed. There you go. Open it up so there'll be some for 
another round. There you go. Got some on. Ooh, just get your fingers in there, Janet. Just don't hold back. Lovely. Ooh. <laughs> Use a palette knife and scrape out the rest. I will. Yes. Good idea. Yes. Use a palette knife, scrape out the rest. We won't waste any, Barb. No. No, sorry, we won't. Let me just get a roll off piece. Oh, lovely. Look at that roll off. Isn't that delicious? Yellow and pink. You're right. It is a lovely. Oh, it was meant to be teal and yellow, wasn't it? It was teal and yellow. Oh, Anne, is that one of your favourite colours, Yellow? Oh, lovely. So, let me get some more paper. Oh, this is a, I think I've seen a lovely, delicious, delicious mess here. Ah, then I've got some magazine that I haven't gessoed. I don't mind that. Everything will, everything will fall into place. Let me get my lovely roller out again. Because I had an experiment on my jelly plate that didn't go right, didn't I? There you go. Rolls it out. There you go. So I did this on my whole wall. <laughs> Let's roll it out onto here. Oh, yes. Very nice. Oh, that's quite a busy page now, that one. This is just a roll-off page. It's got some of, it's got something of everything on that bit. Lovely. I shall put this lovely young lady in the paint. Excuse me. There we are. There. When the it's completely dry. Packing tape will pull off the paint. Ooh, and then one could use use the um, packing tape as well with the paint on. Oh, Deborah, good morning. Good morning. Um, fix yourself a lovely hot beverage and come and sit with us for a while. You are very welcome. Welcome to be here. So lovely. Oh, am I still doing the apron recipe card swap? Gosh, Teresa, my dear. I, I, oh, that's busy. That's busy. It sort of shows up. When it's dry, it might show up a bit more. But of course, this piece, I don't want her, her head in it, but I will be using some of these bits for collage and it's quite nice to have the letters in there i didn't did i know that oh i'm not quite sure i would know how to organize an apron swap um and the tape makes a lovely part in atc clusters how lovely i will try that I will try that. I've got some packing tape here that came on my vegetable box. I've already done a little bit of printing on it. It's paper tape. It came on the vegetable box. I thought I'll keep that and we'll print on that. I've got another bit here. So what other colours did we say? Someone was saying black, weren't they? A bold move to use black, maybe. But if I can find it, I'll do this while I'm looking through my paints so you can see what I'm doing. You hear the noise. Ah, there I lied. Look, there is, there is another yellow. I'll see if I can get some out of that in a minute. Ah, uh, I don't seem to have black. I know I do have it, but I haven't got it in here. That's why I'll use brown instead. And let's try the brown and yellow and be autumn, shall we? Take names and match their names with a partner. Ooh, 
okay. We could, would we do that through just here, Teresa? And people message me. We could show the um, recipe cut aprons again. And people are going to be asking you as well, aren't they? Yeah, let's have a little think about it. Shall we? I tell you what, have a little think about the recipe aprons. Here they are, just for a FYI. There's the little aprons. You can go rogue and cut your own. Or Teresa's is offering you a die cut. Let me pop a little, I'm going to write a recipe on there and we could swap those. Yes. Oh, I think Beth's quite tired from doing the other swaps. We, we, we could organise it through ourselves, couldn't we? I'll have a go. I tell you what, I'll launch it next Monday. The recipe apron swap. Yes. Oh, thanks. Thank you. I've got some more around somewhere, but of course, I'm in a bit of a painty, a bit painty at the moment. I'm going to go back with that brown and do a favourite gold. Is that okay? I know some of you have been suggesting colours. I should go with that. I need to remember. Okay, Nashua, you're up for a you're up for another swap, are you? Because you can swap. Most of you are in the states, aren't you? And you can swap amongst yourself. And I could swap here in the UK with Caroline or Penny or Melanie. Yes. Let me put some thought to it, Teresa. We will, let's do an apron recipe card swap. Let's do it. <laughs> um, yes. So in the meantime, getting if you want a template, you can get one from Teresa. If you want to go rogue, we'll do that again. Lovely idea. Good. Okay. This is Gigi. Oh, we could be swap partners, couldn't we, Mrs. Gigi? Because you're over in Finland. Yes. These are from, I'm just putting these on. These are from that game board. I don't quite know what I'm doing, but there we are. I'm doing it nonetheless. So let's get, let's get another piece of paper. Oh, I know what. Ah, I've got more paper up here. Gorgeous, gorgeous vintage paper. Oh, it didn't like the white. Didn't like the white. Didn't like the white. This is from the button skip again. Oh, I put it on the wrong side, really. Still, never mind. Hey ho. Put it on this side. Don't know quite why I'm doing that, but I am. Oh, oh I love that. It's picked up the pink. Ew, I quite like a messy board. That would be nice to do a, oh, a painty paper swap. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I think some of these swaps Beth may be thinking about too, mightn't you? When you've got your breath back from... We're still in the middle of the ATC one. You'd like to do that, Candy. Yeah, we could swap recipes. I'm loving this idea. I'll take names next week. Yes, and then I'm just going to put these on here. Do you remember these games that Katie and I got in the second hand shop? And we pressed the cards out, didn't we? There we are. I'm just, I'm just putting, you can't see it. I'm pressing them down on here. Oh, yes. Well, I'm, I'm happy to have a go at posting something to Egypt. I'm post to from Australia and post from, uh, from, is it Finland or Sweden isn't doing very well at the moment there. 
we're finding because my things to our lovely friend who's our lovely friend that we Sana they're not getting through are they and we're not receiving either but my mail to America's coming through nicely yeah we'll have a little think about it and next week we'll decide from this little group here we will decide we will have an apron apron recipe card swap or we will have a swap of painty papers whatever you whatever you like we will do <laughs> everyone makes your apron to match your kitchens and keep your aprons and just trade the recipes oh yes oh yes oh there do you know i have a saying i work with this lovely girl lovely girl and she used to say up there for thinking down there for dancing because we did used to dance a lot yes Sana in finland the finland now is not is not getting through very well at all so yes i was let oh this is fun this is fun i will send two of each apron that are oh, that you want maybe you can give one and keep one Ah, okay, okay. Now, what we still would like, um, some people would love to have Teresa's aprons. What about, yes, making yourself an apron to keep your recipe cards in or, or a set of aprons and we trade to keep the cost down, two or three sheets of painty paper and a little card with our favourite recipe on that we can put in our, that, our very own apron. How about the, that? How about that for an idea? Let's, let's chew this idea over. Ooh, look. <laughs> And I'm getting, oh, this might be a bit grungy for some some people. I mean, some people like things to be crisp and bright, and I, I think that's a great thing. This might be getting a little grungy for some. Oh, Gail, take care. Take care. Have a good day. I'm glad you could start the day with us, Gail. Oh, we'll be thinking of you during the day. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Ah, Dorinda loves a bit of the grunge. Lovely. Your kitchen colours are 70s. Ooh, I like that. I like 70s. Oh, Mrs. Gigi's in Sweden. Well, we can try. Yeah, things take a long time. So my, my mail to Santa might get through. Yes. Thanks, Joyce. Thank you. This, um, the actual paper I'm using for this is vintage typing paper. <laughs> hmm. Add this one to the painty paper swap. Okay, let me write that down. Oh yes, painty paper swap. Right, okay, we'll sort this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this swap. That one's going in the swap. I've written that down. So let, let me write some ideas down about that. The um, painty paper swap. So let's see. Oh, thanks, thanks, Mary. Shall we? We'll have another go with some different colours, shall we? Thank you. The cost to send a one ounce letter to the UK is one twenty dollars. Okay. And this is this one is quite light typing paper as well. So let me let you see what I'm writing. I've got Lena there, so we're going to follow Lena's videos. So what are we saying? Swap two painty papers. Okay. And 
while we're doing this, we're each going to be making our own apron to match our kitchen colours or the journal colours we want to use in. I'll show you some more ideas. And Therese is going to be sending some of you a nice apron template or a die cut cut out from on some nice paper so we can be making our apron and then in our two paint when we send our two painty papers we also send a recipe card nicely decorated maybe and what size would it be would it be the size of a playing card? You don't have to have yours kitchen colours. Do you know, Cher Cheryl? There are no rules on the colours. The rules are have fun. <laughs> uh, Anne's checking postage here. <laughs> I am writing it down and we will make it clear. At the moment, it's as clear as mud. Worry not, we will get there. Um, a recipe card. I would say the recipe card, because this is quite small, would that be big enough to write the recipe on? Or, sh the, or should we say an index card size? because that was a very small freehand one, wasn't it? We'll work on this next week. So what we've got so far, the international stamps that I bought were 120, and they told me one ounce. This was about a week ago. So in our little swap we're going to do here on our Monday morning get, get the week started stream, swap two painty papers and... We're going in that envelope, we're going to post a recipe card. And at home, we're going to be making our own little apron. And then when we get our swap, <laughs> we can put that recipe card in there. Yes. Yes, Cheryl. Yes. Yes. Don't worry, we will explain more and more. We won't do it. You have that upside down. Upside down and back to front. I have it upside down. Can you see it better now? <laughs> Turn it. Okay, Teresa, I will. I'm used to the camera being the other way. Silly me. That's right now. Yes, now. Oh, everything I've done has been upside down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm loving that. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Oh, the international stamp is a forever stamp. Oh, it's different for us, but hey ho. Yep. Mm. Now, is that? Have I made it quite clear, Beth, dear, what, what our little swap amongst our, I will call us the Monday morning crew, the Monday morning crew, our little swap. As While you're thinking amongst yourself, I'm going to make another one of these. This is just quite simple, isn't it? But effective. I'm going to get a little peg another little peg here peg this one up that one is for the swap I'm loving that <laughs> right, I'm going to make another one I've had people have been giving me color choices and have I listened no all I can do is apologize if you need me to if you need a special color now I will write it down this time. I'll be better at it. Oh, we call it upside down crafting. Am I completely upside down today? Ah, oh, craft with me upside down. I'll put it. I have index cards, Beth. 
Oh, brilliant. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, Buffy the Vampire. Ew, right. Let's see if any of this yellow. Oh, oh, it's not. Oh, <laughs> okay. So one could argue that that's too much paint. Okay, we'll go with it though. That's fine. It's not. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I'm fine now. Well, there we are. That's a nice lot of paint. <laughs> Let's just do this. This is tremendous fun. So are we sort of agreed? Sort of agreed. Next week, I'm going to be demonstrating the apron. And we're all individually going to make, if we want to, an apron recipe holder at home. And then we're going to swap with each other two painty papers and an index card with our favourite recipe on. So a little swap, a one stamp, stamp swap, two painty papers and an index card. Far too much paint. Ooh, what's this? I don't know what this is. Oh, globby paint. Okay, fine. Oh, more globby paint. Mm. Ooh, mud. Love it. <laughs> have I got a tissue? Yes, I have. <laughs> Keep more of your trash. Yes. Oh, Laurie, I'm giving you ideas. Yes. Yes. Come here for all your trash ideas. Yes. Yes, <laughs> ideas on using up the trash. Oh, one could argue this is going a little bit too far. I thought it was going to be yellow, but it's mustard. It's quite grungy. It won't be wasted, though. I'm going to do another one of these because I found that quite pretty. Quite pretty, quite interesting. So pop those down. Oh, it was the other way around. Okay. Oh, okay. Won't be quite the same, but I'll pop it on like that. I must put it the other way around. That's a maths problem. Now, does everybody think that is a good idea, the swap? Oh, I'm just reading chat. Hold on a minute. Orange is your favourite. Oh, yes. I haven't got any orange, but could I, I make some orange then? Yes. Okay, Suze, remind me. I will do orange next. Yes. Now you're clear on the mailing. Okay. So let me just, let me just do this. And then I think we will... Take names for this, shall we? And we may as well start thinking about it. Why not? Whoop. Lift that up. I'm not wasting any of this. I'm just gonna put that on there. Yeah, these were the this is rubbish. It was just cutouts from games. Dominoes. Do children's domino blocks. Laurie, far too much paint on the, on, the, on the jelly, the jelly plate. Still, never mind. And so I've got that. Lovely, lovely. And get another piece of this lovely vintage typing paper. Red and yellow. Yep, thank you, Cheryl. Red and yellow make orange. So I can use the last of me yellow and make some orange for Sue's. Oh, no, I don't think so, Gail. No, no particular. Hi, Gail, lovely. No particular. No, just whatever you want to, whatever you want to send, whatever you want to create, because it, 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 it just depends on what colour paints you've got. If I'm going to do anything, I, I won't have yellow for a while. So, because I, I like to use up the paints before I get more. Oh, me too. Who, who are we mailing? Oh, okay, let's make a list. Oh, let's just 
We'll make a list now. Let's make a list now. I'm loving this. Candy's in. She's in. She's in. We colour paint free. I know. I know. We just haven't got any particular preferences. No. Ooh, there we are. There was a there was too much paint on there, but it's not going to waste. No. I'm going to hang that up because we don't want any more. Sign me up. Shall I, gonna, shall I take the names and just put them next to one another? Yes. Sounds like a good idea. I'm in. Gail. What the hell? Have you done another video, Gail, this week? Mrs. Gigi? Oh, shall we swap together, Mrs. Gigi? It, you're nearer to me, aren't you? And we'll just, we know each other, and we'll just hope they get through. And if they don't get through, we'll send more. Yeah, we'll do it before we get too, too near Christmas. Janet, take our names and match us to trade with each other. Yes. Thank you. I, I thank you, Bear. So, Mrs. Gigi and Janet, Candy and Cheryl, Gail, Gail, Tup Hill. Uh, just shout out me. And we can take more names next week. If I'm missing you. Shout at me again, please. <laughs> I need to pull something else off here because there is more on here. Well, what fun to have a little swap. What fun. Anybody else would like me to put their name down? Do, or if I've missed you, tell me again. Janice. Janice, I'm going to put you, I'm presuming you're all here. In um um in in America you're not here you're in America I see myself as American <laughs> now what was that Janice yes Janice yeah Janice Glines I put Janice Glines I put next to Gail Tuthill I'll read it out again at the end Candy and Cheryl. Candy sending to Cheryl, Cheryl sending to Candy. Gail Tuthill sending to Janice Glines. Janice Glines is sending to, to Gail. Mrs. Gigi and I are swapping with one another. Ah, oh, Deborah Adams. Deborah Adams. Ah, oh, Nashua, lovely. Nashua, I'm going to say you and I swap because we, we are quite close. Let us be swapping partners. So the girls in America are sending to one another because it's more reasonable for you to send, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, they were lovely tags, Suze, weren't they, that people were sending out? Yep, let me know if I am if I miss the chat, just keep me up to date with it and I'm writing names down as I go. And we'll take some more names next week. You can get started. Oh, earlier on, and I missed that, Melissa was saying her favourite recipe is chocolate brownie. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Mmm, lovely. Good. I popped us down, Naswa, and we will we will talk about it more next week. We'll just get it. We can be getting it ready because I know we're getting our coins ready to send to Beth as well. I've got some colour up, and I I'm calling that today background. <laughs> right. Was that it? Was was that enough? Have we done enough jelly printing for one day? Oh, Janice and Gail are talking about what recipes. Oh, Janice is saying, do you like truffles, Gail? Because obviously Janice has got a super. Oh, I miss some. Don't let me miss anyone. Beth, 
I'm putting Beth, sorry, dear. Love truffles, says Gail, so yes. Oh, Suze, you're going to join in the swap too, Suze. Beth and Suze then. Yes, don't let me miss anybody, please. I never like to miss people out. So I've got Candy and Cheryl, Gail and Janice, Mrs. Gigi and myself, Deborah Adams. Oh, I haven't got anyone with Deborah. Nashua and me, Beth and Suze. Oh, Janice makes truffles for the holidays. Deborah, I will I will get you a partner. Don't you worry. And Melissa, Melissa. Now, Melissa, who would you like to swap with? Would you like to swap with Beth? Would that would that be good to swap with Beth? Melissa? Sorry, it's it's I don't do anything intentionally. I just miss the chat sometimes. Yes. Yes. Oh, good. So I'm going to swap it around a bit. And I'm going to put, because I know you are you love swapping with Beth, don't you, Melissa? I'm going to put Deborah with Sue's there. And I'm going to put Melissa swapping with Lovely bear. There we are. Oh, I'm loving this. Yes, Janet. Yes, you do like swapping with Beth, don't you? Oh, lovely. Right. Gosh. We will call that a day, maybe, on the jelly printing. I think it's been, I've, I've had such a wonderful time. So next week, we'll be doing, we'll, we'll be showing the jelly plates. And we'll be, we can make things with the jelly prints that we've done as well. See what they're like when they're dry. Yeah, lovely. So, yeah, I, I can't show you many because I don't think they're dry. Well, some of them are. Let's see. Let's go through some of them. Started off with the circles. Oh, hold on. Am I missing anybody? The prey looks grand and ready for another pull. Okay, right. Yes, I will. I will. Yes, yes. Okay, Janice. Point taken. <laughs> oh, Teresa. Yes. Teresa, you would like to join in the swap, wouldn't you? Because I know you're the one who, whose idea the swap was. And I think that sounds excellent. <laughs> Candy. How are you? How are you feeling? You okay? Yes, because I know you've had your PT and you've got a lot of pain at the moment. I've got you there. I'm just waiting for somebody else to say, and then I will get your part. The next person that comes in and says they would like to join in the swap, I'll write down and put next to your name. What colour would I put? Oh, I promised to do orange, didn't I? So let's do that. Oh, there you go, Suze. That's nice of Teresa, isn't it? To, so we're all going to have an apron. Some of us are going to make them ourselves. Some of them, Teresa, is going to send you the die cut. That's very kind of you, Teresa, to do that. Have I got a handy dandy knife to take this out with? No, I have a handy dandy spatula though. Blue and orange. Ah, blue and orange, right, okay, okay. I'm just gonna scrape this rest of this yellow out. This is very satisfying, isn't it? Scraping the yellow out. There you go. Do you know that there's quite a lot in here when you do this? You're right. When I've got these open, I, it's good. You can use a credit card. Yes. I was using a credit card instead of the um, Brer because Teresa and I lost our Brer for a while. Didn't we? <laughs> you love the grungy ones. Oh, thank you, Suze. <laughs> right. I'm going to make a nice orange for Suze here. Ooh, 
that's nice. Oh, I hope that's nice for you. Your favorite color, lovely. And a bit of blue, blue, red and orange. I'm putting that on my notebook. I've even got paint on my notebook now. Lovely. I like to waste it. And blue, where's the blue? Even the blue's coming to the end, I think. Oh dear. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's the link for Teresa's video. And she's flipping through the paper, offering, offering you a die cut and to choose paper very generously. And we think oh, this is going to be such a super swap. It really is such a good idea to make our own apron so we're not sending it through the post. It's a one stamp swap. And I think that's very good. If there's one more person that would like to join in, let me know because I've got a space here next to Teresa's name. So it's two painty papers and one index card with our favorite recipe on. Making a recipe card for our friends. For our, our Monday morning, get up and go friends. That's who we are, isn't it? The Monday morning crew. Yeah. Is that orangey enough? It's not very orange, is it really? That's just how it worked out, I'm afraid. I'm going to do an envelope here because we're going to have a little... Oh, gosh, those are lovely colours, actually. Oh, wow. Ew, wow. <laughs> I like that. Oh, wow. That is, gosh, if you don't like grunge, let me know. Maljoy, oh, lovely. Mm. Maljoy, would you, would you like to swap within England, Europe or the USA? It's your choice. It's festive, isn't it? Yes, these are the colours of your choice. <laughs> Thank you, Joyce. Oh, now what mark making can we do? What have I got left? What have I got left? Oh, let me show you this. This isn't exactly a household item, but this is a traditional Indian block printing. And it's obviously been used a lot, very worn. It's what they use to make their fabric. Am I missing names, festive? Yes, yeah, printing wallpaper and fabric. Mm, there we are. I love the way. I, I wonder what wood is made of beautiful hardwood too. Actually, I don't know whether I'm going to get much of a print on that. I'm making the envelope so I can send some. We'll have a little drawer in a minute is it coming out let me see let me get something let me get another envelope is it working do you know it needs a good clean i think i've used it quite a few times so maybe we're not going to get much from this i don't know Oh, does she? Yes. I got this in an antique shop down Cherry Orchard Road a while back. Oh, it's coming out quite well. I quite like it. Yes, very festive, very festive. Because I use um, paint, I should, um, I should clean it really, shouldn't I? But I don't. <laughs> Let me just put some around the edge. I just put that on my notebook. Can't waste anything. Oh, yes, um, Laurie, uh, I will show you, but they're, they're somewhere under a pile of um, papers. They're paper, paper pinnies. 
Of course, me being different, I did make a fabric one. Um, yeah, the, me being me. Oh, did, and did you buy? Did you buy them, Laurie, from Johnny? How nice! Very boho, yes, very boho style. Yes, paper, paper aprons, but you can make them out of um, cloth or material if you want to. Or you could make them out of painted papers. In a minute, I will, I will show you. Or might have to be next week. You know what a state you one gets into when we start with the jelly print printing. It does seem to get everywhere. Oh wow, super colours, and you can see. You can see the marks in there. Amazing. I love it. <laughs> Do you recognise these from the button skip, Melanie? The little invoice papers, lovely and light. Oh, yes. Did she have some smaller ones? Yes. Let's pull up another one. Plenty paint. This is me. Plenty paint on the jelly, jelly plane. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's very dendritic. You can feel it coming up just there. Have I got, I've got mostly colour. I don't think I got my, many of the, maybe a little bit of the Indian flower there. I will have to give it a good clean out, I think. I've been very remiss. <laughs> oh, Melanie, I didn't hear back from you, but I can ask you whether you wanted to do international or keep within Europe or England. Now... Are we calling it a day or are we just going to put a little bit of white over this one and see if we can pull up the last bits of colour? Can you use some? Can you use gesso on a, on a jelly plate? Marvellous. Thank you. <laughs> We've certainly got a nice selection. I wish I could show you them all, but they're very wet. Oh, I could show you them and then pin them black. But black gesso, this is actually white gesso. I can't find my black paint. Maybe, I thought I got all my paint out. Maybe, you can see I'm getting in a right mess today. I'm just gonna put some, white on here <laughs> and see how we go well what fun it's not cooperative <laughs> cooperating i know Janice. <laughs> i know just get out and do as you're told <laughs> hmm. you can use just so oh good oh look again I'm glad there are no rules because we it could be argued that there was far too much paint on here. Maybe I'm a far too much paint person. Phew, look at all the colours coming through. Loving that. What needs some white on it? I don't want to spoil anything. I'll just put some white on one of these sheets, I think. Oh, oh, but of course it's not white. Hmm. We're going to have to make a grungy journal. <laughs> Thanks, Beth. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. You found an old, your, an old Boho Star magazine from 2016. Oh, wow, Joyce. I love that. I love, I love a hippie sort of style. Have I got any other mark making things here? Yes, wallpaper that Beth sent me. 
I have a chair full of super duper mark making things here. I'll put that away somewhere and maybe I will get around to cleaning it. Right. Ooh, lovely. So I'm just gonna don't want to waste that. I don't I know. Oh, 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 oh. I'm loving this. Oh, I hope you're not finding it too grungy. Oh, bear. Melissa's favourite colours are pink and green and red and yellow. Oh, lovely. You love the colours. That's almost a rainbow, Melissa. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Thanks, Beth, for the wallpaper. Super duper happy now that was. Braille paper and the wallpaper. Oh, lovely. Oh, you can message. Susan Teresa are going to message one of You're not clear about the apron. Is it just a paper apron, like a small one, or a real fabric apron? It, it's, a, it's a paper one. It's a paper one, Laurie. Um, I wish I could find the other ones, my dear. Do, I must say, we did have a little bit of a clear up yesterday. You know what it's like when you clear up? And then you don't know where anything is. Um, let me see. Um, ah. Don't worry, be thinking about the painty papers and I will show all the aprons next week don't worry they're, they're paper yes paper paper aprons they can go they can go in um oh lovely they can go in a journal or a recipe book Oh, look at you. You're messaging one another about your favourite colours. And I'm loving that. Yes, Laurie, I wish. I'm not an organiser at the best of times, but oh, here they are, Laurie. I don't want to get pain in them. Let me get them out. Hold. Hold on a minute. Hold on just half a minute, Laurie. There we are. I found them. So my, oh, let me pull this off, otherwise they stick. Ew. <laughs> Grungy, gorgeous. Oh, the texture. I love it. I love it. That's not everybody's cup of tea. We'll have to, when we're swapping, we'll have to ask our partners what we like, won't we? Because we don't, want to send anybody something that they don't like the colours of, do we? So if I've got another background, let me just... Mm. I'm sounding like Mary, am I? What? Uh, experimenting. Let me show you. Hold on a minute. Two, two shakes of a lamb's tail, Laurie, and I'll be with you. I'm having just having a little bit of fun here on the jelly plate. Oh, Mary Beth. Whoop. Ah. Ew. It's a bit grungy, Mary Beth. I do apologise. If I'm swapping with someone and they like bright colours, I will message you. We're organising a swap, Mary Beth. Where are you here? Teresa loves grungy. Yay! I love both. I love some grungy and some non. <laughs> right, now, let me show you these. It started off with my lovely friend, Cheryl B, sending me this recipe card all the way from the States with a fantastic cake recipe in it for wacky cake and last week I made some and I ate it and it was 
gorgeous, loved it. I've just been collecting a few more cards there. Yeah, made out of paper with ribbon and lace and buttons. And then I made one. And the little phase I'm in at the moment, I made mine out of cloth because that's just me at the moment. And made a mason jar recipe card. And then I made one freehand. I drew around that one. Um, a freehand one. And this is my Queen of Hearts. And last week I didn't have the little charm. And it's the rabbit. If I can get it to focus, it's not going to focus. Okay, anyway, it's the little rabbit. Melanie very kindly brought that round for me. And that's got a recipe of jam tarts on. Oh, you like the mason jar? Do you, Joyce? Oh, it's, um, it's a die cut. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, I can, I can do cuts and cutouts for people of the mason jar if they'd like. Um... Have I lost my pen now? And then I made the little butterfly one. I'm going to make a butterfly cakes. I did these freehand, just like drew them. There. Thank you, Mary Bear. <laughs> okay, says Paint Girly. I'm in. Oh, good. <laughs> Lovely. Right. Okay, you think a crafter could put her hand on a pen? Call yourself a crafter. Here we are. Good. So, Teresa, can I pair you up with Paint Girlie, who is Laurie? Paint Girlie. There you go. We're going to organise it in the stream. We're not going to organise it within a group. Sorry, we're going to organise it here and you can message one another. You paint girly. Laurie didn't want to make life-size aprons. I don't blame you. No. <laughs> oh. oh, Cheryl's been, been away, but she's back now. Don't worry, I've just been pulling some more... Grungy, grungy sheets. Don't worry, you're back now. <laughs> so, yeah, lovely. We've got Candy swapping with Cheryl. Gail Tuthill swapping with Janice. Mrs. Gigi swapping with me. Deborah Adams with Suze. Nashua with me, because I think Egypt is nearer to me than the States. Beth with Melissa. Teresa with Laurie. Who's paint girly? Oh, recycle coffee cups. Oh, you like containers. Oh, Joyce, let me send you a copy of it then. The um, mason jar. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, this is the useless pen. You know when you pick a pen and it's useless? Hold on, let me get the other side of it. They're very old, these. Mm -hmm. It's a recipe holder apron. Yes, a recipe holder apron. Yes. And just to be clear, we're going to make our own apron for our own selves. So we're going to have a one step swap. So we're going to be swapping two painty papers and a recipe card and we're going to make our own aprons so when our recipe card comes from our partner we can pop it in and you can talk to your partner about their favorite colors 
Oh, look at you. You're all chatting now, swapping email addresses. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. And we can get this started and sent as soon as you want to. How lovely. How lovely to send. I'm sending a recipe all the way to Egypt. I wonder what recipe I should send. Hmm, maybe Victoria Sponge. What do you think, Lai? Candy eats everything. Thanks, Mrs. Gigi. This is going to be fun. Just a little one stamp swap. I'm loving that. Oh, okay. Beth says the apron trade is just for this video and will be closed after this video ends. Oh, right. Okay. So we're just going to do it for this video, but we will talk about it more next Monday. But we'll just close it once this ends. I'm putting Maljoy down. I haven't heard who Maljoy would like to send abroad. Sue says, am I sending Mason bars to the States? I can. Yes, of course I can. I'll write it down. You, you like them, do you? Yes, it's just um, it it's just a what do you call it? a die cut? Yeah, I can. Of course, I can. Oh, candy has lots of recipes. One stamp, two painted papers, and a recipe of your favourite dish. Loving that. Yes, and even if it, it doesn't have to be on an index card, if it's on a little piece of paper, it's a precious thing, and you can tuck it in your apron. One for me, please, says Candy. Yes, loving that. <laughs> Candy wants a mason jar. I'm loving it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Lynn, dear, the, we're doing a one-stamp swap. We're, we're making partners now, and you're going to keep in touch with your partner, and we're doing a, a swap of two painty papers, and a recipe card or a recipe paper with your favourite recipe on. And if you like, we are all going to be making, if I can see it now, we're going to be making, we'll make some more next week. We're going to be making little recipe card holders. So when we receive the recipes from our friends, we can put these and pop them in our journals. Anne would like to swap with someone. Ah, oh, Anne, I'll pop you down with my dear friend Meljoy, who's over here in London. Anne, Anne's in. <laughs> no pressure to be in, no, because sometimes we haven't got time. Sometimes we just haven't got the spare cash that week for the stamps. So here you go, Candy. Candy's showing that. Sharing her email address with her partner, and I'm loving that. Loving that. We're having a little tiny swap between us all. I love that. Let me show you what Melanie made for me. Yeah, look at this. Isn't this fab? If you like grungy stuff, this was in my happy mail from Melanie. And let's see if anybody can guess what this is made from. Can see some outlines here. It's okay, Teresa. I mean, I you haven't even had time for breakfast. We've been so busy, and she's lined it with that lovely sheet with the writing on. Oh, you need a pen. Oh, Candy, maybe you need to share it again because Cheryl's just run off for a pen and it's your, your email address is shot up the chat. Oh, coffee filter. Ah, not a coffee filter. No, but you're nearly there with a coffee filter. Nearly there. These shapes. She watched a video and got this technique. And stepped away and missed the swap. Don't worry, I will explain it. I will. I'm just showing what Melanie made me for my happy mouth. 
gorgeous texture. I'm going to decide what to put in it. No, what it is, you watch the video and you get the plastic file folders that you slot your papers in and you mod podge dried tea bags. Yes, tea bags. Uh, Lynn, tea bags. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, I'm still taking names. Yes, still taking names. Oh, yes, I've put Anne. Anne is with Meljoy. Yes. Oh, are you happy to send to England, Anne? Because Meljoy's in England. Are you happy about that? We'll find you a US partner. If not, no pressure. Yes. So you mod podge on the plastic, then you put tea bags, then you mod podge on top. And wow, look at that. It just comes out. It's it's a little bit like um hide almost. So it's vegan hide. It's amazing texture and I love it and it's got this little wrap round. So that's very precious. I'm going, I haven't decided what I'm going to use it for yet. Plastic, yes, the plastic wallets. And you mod podge the tea bags, mod podge over it on the plastic. Yes, the plastic. So we can't see the plastic because she's covered it with um, a, a, the lining, the fabric lining. Yes, isn't that amazing? Kathy, good morning. Welcome. Welcome to the Monday, the Monday crew relaxing here. Oh, Kathy, as you can see on my desk, inspired by you and the hop. I've been doing some jelly plating. We've had we've been we've been making some grungy, lovely stuff. Meljoy. Oh, okay, thank you. Meljoy's here. You don't. Yes, here we are. Let's get it straight from the horse's mouth, as it were. Yes. Ah, sorry, Meljoy. You mod it onto the plastic, and when it's dry, it peels off. Ooh, maybe we should do some. Meljoy, dear, can you remember whose video it was that you watched? No pressure. I absolutely love it. Yes, let's call it vegan leather. Hmm. We could do. Anne's in, Anne's in for, Anne, you're in for swapping with Meljoy and Anne would like to swap with Beth too. Now, I would say, because this is on a video and it's not within a group, let's say within the next two weeks, so we'll talk about it more next week, be getting it ready and we will send out by mid-October. Laurie? Let me see. Oh, Laurie, I haven't got Laurie down. I'll just set you up with a partner, Laurie. And we'll, we'll do this amongst ourselves. Let's try and get them out by mid-October. Mid Let's message one another, message your partners. And it's a one-stamp swap two painty papers and a recipe of your of your choice, your favourite recipe on a little card or paper. Lovely. And we'll all make our own little aprons to have ready to pop the recipe in. That's lovely. And you can be chatting and messaging your partners. And I can see you're swapping emails as you go. So I've got Candy and Cheryl. Gail, Tuthill and Janice. I'm waiting for a partner for Laurie. Oh, okay, Lynn J. There you go. Lynn, Lynn J. Maybe, would you like to swap email addresses? and Or find a way to message on Messenger. So Laurie and Lynn J. Mrs. Gigi and me. Deborah Adams and Suze, Nashua and myself, Beth and Melissa, 
Teresa, Laurie, Paint Girly. Oh, Laurie, I got you down twice. I'm very efficient here. Very efficient. Let's sort that out in a minute. Mel, Joy and Anne. And Anne and Beth. Anne wanted to do two. Now, Laurie, I've got you down twice. I take it you only want to do it once. Oh, Lynn says, warning, my favourite recipe is to have someone else do the cooking. Yes, a recipe. Yes, a recipe of your choice. Even if it's on a little piece of folded paper, I think it will be precious. You can tuck it in the pocket of your paper on the um, paper apron. Now, just get back to me, Laurie, if you can, because I've got you down twice, once with Gail and once with Teresa. No. See, now, this is where my little head is a little bit challenged. I haven't told you about my head, but it is slightly challenged. So... That's fine. I'm sure you girls will be able to sort this out. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> so Candy and Cheryl, Gail and Janice, Laurie and Lynn J, Mrs. Gigi and me, Deborah Adams and Suze, Nashua and me, Beth and Melissa, Teresa and Laurie. Oh, I haven't. And um, Mel, Joy, and Anne. And Anne and Beth. Oh, no, I haven't. I think I'm right. There you go. Hmm. J Mel, Joy will be able to help me tomorrow. Thank you, Mel, Joy. I haven't told the girls about my poorly head, have I? But that's why I'm here, because I've been listening for the last two and a half years. I've been listening to your lovely live streams and you've been getting me through stuff. It's lovely. <laughs> oh, yes. Extra recipes. We love them. Oh, OK. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Janet. It's Janet USA, and I'm Janet from over the sea. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, thanks, Bear. Yes, I think it's working out fine. I think we're. I think we're all understanding. And if we can't understand, we can ask one another. Welcome, Janet. Always nice to have you here. Thank you. You're a very lovely person. Thank you. Now let's have a little draw, shall we? I can find my phone. Can I show you what's going to be in it? Probably not. I don't know. When I cleared the decks, I will put some nice things in the envelope. Don't you worry. We've got a, we've got a very colourful envelope. I could do some doodling on that. Oh, Suze, yes. You sleep now because you didn't have a good night's sleep. I know. Oh, wishing you all the best. Snippet strips, thank you. <laughs> Beth, Beth, you're on it today. Beth is on it. I will put in a snippet strip that we did earlier. I shall put that on there, in there, and some other little bits, just a one stamp. Right, so we are going to do numbers one to 100, and it has to be on it or under it and the closest one wins yummy snippet strips oh beth yes i could i could show you girls if i could only if i could find them you know what it's like when you start to jelly print don't you everything gets every which way no never mind don't you worry, I'll send you something nice. <laughs> oh, and a mason jar cut out. That's what you are some as well. So pop your numbers in. I'll put go and then I'll put stop. But there is a lag, so we will be very kind. 
Now, is there someone here? Make sure Candy's here because she's been in in physical therapy and might be sleeping. Oh, Candy, you're there. Who else? Somebody literally just said goodbye. Who said goodbye to us just a minute ago? I was concentrating on these names. I don't want to miss anyone out. Sometimes I can just put a number in for someone if we can remember. Oh, Susan, Suzanne, Suze, it was you. Have you put a number in, Suze, dear? That's it. <laughs> you put a number in. Oh, people remembered you. Oh, Mel Joyce put a number in for Suze. Love it. Oh, and Suze has got a number 22. Have two numbers, Suze, because you didn't sleep well. It's lovely. I love that. Oh, thank you, Janet. We've got some. Thank you for reminding me. That's it. You're on it. There's Beth. Ah, oh, lovely. Hmm. Have we got, um, there's Mary Beth on there. Yeah. Lovely. I don't want to. And, and Mrs. Gigi, who put a number in Mrs. Gigi? I wind the chat back. Yes, you have. Yes, yes. Love it. But I'll say stop. But if if you want to pop in with a number. Don't worry, we're not that strict, are we? There we are. And I'll go to random.org. <laughs> there we are. Look at that. Oh, I found my glasses there on the top of my head. Right. I'm sure I have loads more stuff to show you, but we just had such a delicious time, didn't we, with the with the jelly paint look at my hands and you can tell oh my arms I've got a lovely print on my arm of the um of the Indian block I'm loving that <laughs> oh Cheryl did you put a number in yes you did ah oh, you can talk to him it's good to talk <laughs> Do you know when the boyfriends interrupt our crafting? Goodness me. <laughs> Random org. And what fun to have true random. Number generator. True random. So here we are. Oh, you can't see it's glary, but you know that I'm. So minimum number one, maximum number 10, generate a result, press the generate. I love this. And it says, not that you can, can you see it? Yes, 80, the, the number to 80. And I know you guys, you're just so on it. <laughs> Look. Cheryl is chatting in the back of class. What are we going to do with people that chat in the back of the class? Goodness me. <laughs> Extra art homework for you. <laughs> oh, who got... Did Barbara? Oh, Barbara, how lovely. Ew, is it, is it Barbara the, the nearest? I'll send you a little recipe on a mason jar. People are saying congrats, Barbara. So is that what we're saying, guys? Oh, the boyfriend's a chatterbox. Me, yay. Ah, oh, Barbara, do I know your address? Whose group will I find your name in? I'm writing down now. Whose name will I find, group will I find your name in? There. I will send you one of the clusters that we were doing earlier. And I, anything that I can get in here up to 20 grams. That's what we do. Okay, night for real. Good night, Suze. Oh, and I will send you your mason jar, Suze. Yes. Let's hope it. Oh, well done, Barb. <laughs> Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's lovely. And we, we message me. Do message me. And um, 
we will sort we can sort this out and message one another. <laughs> oh, well done. Oh, lovely. Now, my mail seems to get through very quickly to Beth, to Florida. But I sent something to Mary Beth, won the little positive quote journal. And that must have taken about four or five weeks. We'll give it four or five weeks, and if, if, if it doesn't arrive, I'll send out again. So we'll keep in touch. We'll be in touch. <laughs> so without further ado, three weeks. Oh, did it take three weeks? Oh, Mary Beth, it felt like ages because I was waiting. I was waiting for it to come. Oh, Mary, um, Beth. Thank you. Thank you for joining in today and thank you for all the links and advice. And um, how do you reach me? Oh, I'm in I'm my in Beth. Are you with Dawn? Have a good nap, Beth. Sleep tight. Cuddle up with the dogs. Hugs, hugs to them. <laughs> so, shall we hop on the bus? I've got to go and make some nice beetroot soup now. It has been a nice morning, Nancy. Thank you. Nancy, thank you for joining. And everybody, thank you for joining, joining us. And to all the replayers, thank you. Thank you for joining me and us. Thank you. And if anyone is on replay, and wants to message me. Uh, yes, Teresa is in um, in Beth's group. The message and on Messenger. Oh, it's been my pleasure. It's been an absolute pleasure. Shall we nip on the bus? Shall we go to Rebecca's? Could we pop in a link to Rebecca's while I make my beetroot soup? I'm going to be in the kitchen listening to Rebecca and with her lovely group. I love Rebecca. Shall we have a link for Rebecca's? If that's possible, anybody, if it's possible. I, I know that Mary Beth likes to go over to, don't you, to see Rebecca. We'll wait for a little, oh, Freddie says goodbye. Freddie's sleepy. He's on the chair. He looks very cute. He looks very cute. Oh, Mrs. Gigi, I love Rebecca. There we are. There's Becca's link. Oh, bye, Nashua. Yes, bye, Candy. Candy, I hope you're okay. Oh, we're just off. Oh, Juanita, we're just going over to Rebecca's. We'll see you there. And... Juanita, she spins, just put up another video of her spinning wool. So do nip over there. Beautiful. Love it. There we are. Off we go. There we are. Bye-bye. See you at Rebecca's. And thank you for this morning. It's been lovely. Lovely start. Lovely start to the week. Goodbye.